Hello guys, good evening everybody. Welcome back. Hi teacher, good evening. Hello Amanda, hello Joelman, and Marina, good to see you. Thank you so much for coming early. Let's get started with the lesson. And uh, okay, remember that we have some activities pending, right? So what we are going to do is to complete each activity, right? So remember that we have this task. Can, did you complete the task yesterday? What about you, uh, Joelman? Did you finish the presentation? Remember that I, that we started this yesterday. Did you finish the activity, Joelman? And Amanda, what about you or Morena? Thank you, Mr. Terminamos la actividad. Did you finish on this activity? De las, de las, de, de las preguntas. De la presentación, the presentation about your last vacation. Sí, de las, de las que hicimos ayer. Hicimos la question y la, y la, y la answer. Um, hablando de las, de, de las vacaciones, usando estas preguntas. Ajá, uh -huh, sí. Sí, ah, ok, ok. ¿Y usted hizo la presentación? Did you do the presentation? Yes, teacher. Ok, perfect. What about eh, trabajo en pareja? Did you work in person, Amanda, or individually? Pero, mire, teacher, yo me estoy confundiendo porque vale, yo hablo de, la, de las preguntas que habían, que es, y, bueno, que yo le, le dije que había entrado... Mm -hmm. oh, que habían sido de antier, pero sí, que las trabajaron. Esta actividad la empezamos ayer, o oh no, recuerden, please. I don't remember. Pensé que ya hemos empezado. This one, or no, guys, or I am lost. Mm, no, teacher. Me perdí en el right. Let me know. No, no veo the, the, the task. Oh, yes, we didn't even start in my mind, maybe, yes, no. <laughs> sorry, guys, sorry. <laughs> okay, this is going to be the activity. Thank you, Amanda. Yes, esas uh, questions las, las terminamos ayer. Okay, thank you. Okay, so uh, this activity is supposed in my mind that you have to finish, right? But, lucky you guys, that you are going to do this activity right now, right? With your partners. You're going to describe a vacation, right? About what you did in your last vacation. For example, you have to include uh, pictures of the place, let's say. And for example, you, include, you will include the, where did you go, when, who did you go with, how did you get there? And all of these questions. And here you have an example, right? For uh, you to explain your vacation. You have a paragraph about the activities that you did, but you did it in your last vacation. So this is going to be the activity. I'm gonna give you like 10 minutes for you to work in pairs, and then you explain the vacation. So let me know if you have questions, guys. Preguntas? O sea, teacher, que vamos a poner la respuesta. Uh -huh. La pregunta, su respuesta y una imagen. Ok. Uh -huh. Lo que vamos a hacer es, con base a estas preguntas, con base a estas preguntas, uh -huh. usted va a hacer este párrafo, digamos. No es necesario que digamos pregunta uno, no, pregunta dos, no. Con base a estas preguntas, usted va a hacer un párrafo como el que tenemos acá. Y usted va a presentar la imagen, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. Ok. De sus vacaciones. Ok, no sé si hay dudas o questions. Lo vamos a hacer en parejas. Eh, una, vamos a hacer una sola, una sola presentation. 
y, y en, las, en la presentación los dos van a presentar, ¿verdad? Individualmente, their information. Ok, no sé si hay dudas o questions about the activity. Ok, something. Yes, I'm sorry, Amanda. Eh, no, le dije que no, no habían no había preguntas. Ok, perfect. Thank you, Amanda. Ok, something I want you to use, please, and uh, it is the past, right? We are talking, we are studying the past, so I want you to make emphasis, right, of the past, how to use the proper verbs. Ok, without further ado, guys, let's go to the breakout rooms. I'm going to set the time of 10 minutes, ok? 10 minutos les voy a dar para esta presentation. Para que se preparen, eh, complete the task, and then you present in pairs. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's go, guys. Les voy a compartir. I will be sharing this information in the breakout, in the WhatsApp group. Okay, let's go. Hello, Mario. Oh, Mario. Okay. Moment. Hello. Hello, Mario. How was your day? I'm going to send you to one of your partners. Do you know the activity, Mario? Sí. Lo voy a compartir pantalla para que pueda ver the activity que estamos haciendo. Okay. So basically, lo que estamos haciendo es que usted va a presentar una descripción of your vacation, right? Of your last vacation. And uh, usted, uh, you are going to present a picture, right? Or the pictures you have, las imágenes de su last vacation. Y con base a estas preguntas, usted va a hacer un párrafo como el que tenemos acá. Mm -hmm. For example, if uh, you you have, where did you go, right? Where? Donde? Se dice, last year I spent my vacation, for example, at the beach, at the mountains, at the forest, with my family. Luego tenemos la siguiente, where did you go? Mm -hmm. I travel with some friends of mine to San Salvador, to Sonsonate, etc. Entonces, con base a estas preguntas, va a ser barra. Okay. Okay, ok, ok. okay. Eh, lo voy a enviar con... Uh -huh. Tenemos a Gloria y a Mario. Ok, los voy a dejar trabajando acá. And, uh, eh, porque ya, ya, ya no puedo asignar, ya no puedo mandarlos al grupo. Ok, los voy a dejar. I'm going to close my my camera so you can work here, okay? Lo vamos a hacer en presentación, recuerde, okay, Mario? In presentation, y va a incluir su información más la de Gloria, okay? Yes, Mario and Gloria? <laughs> vamos a hacer un diálogo, teacher. Vamos a hacer una presentation, uh -huh. Gloria. De su última vacación, right? Va a utilizar estas preguntas. En base a estas preguntas, usted va a hacer el párrafo. ¿Ok? No es necesario responder así como question one, question two, no. Vamos a hacer un párrafo. ¿Ok? 
¿Y a dónde lo vamos a escribir, teacher? En una presentation. Lo, vamos a, lo va a trabajar con Mario. Ah, va, de acuerdo. Okay. ok, los voy a dejar trabajando. Let me know if you have questions, ok? Mario. With my family. Um. Like how? If when, when did you go? Then we, I, sería, I was. I was. I was with, with my, my friend. No, my friend. I was with my friend. Ya voy. Uh -huh. Who did you go with? Go with. Who did you go with? Yes. Who is King? Uh -huh. ¿Quién fue contigo? ¿Dónde? Ahí sería, I was with my friends. Ahí sería, en who. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Y when, en dónde. Ajá, ¿dónde fuimos? When, ¿Cuándo? 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 ¿Cuándo es cuándo? Wow. Uh -huh. Hola, hola Mario. Hello. Y, y, y sería en diciembre. Um, Merry Christmas. Uh -huh. Y, y where, do, you? Where, where do you go? Ajá. When do you go? When is uh, where, where donde? Donde, donde, sí, donde fue? Donde fue? Este uh -huh. eh, de sería en pasado que no olvida. I, I was I, to the... I was okay. with my family in the beach. Okay, entonces... I when es el pasado de wo, ¿verdad? Ella sí. me dijo ayer, I went. I went the beach. Entonces, vamos, you... vamos, vamos, vamos a hacer las tuyas. Entonces, este, eh, eh, de, de, 
eh, eh, last year I was, digamos, I was at the beach bar. Ajá, uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. And you? What beach? Uh -huh. El tonco. What a beach? Um, te voy a ver cómo se llama. La libertad. Porque el tunquito está ahí mismo, pero está más lejos. Ajá. El puerto de la libertad. Ok. En you? Uh, I to travel. I, I was uh -huh. to the United States. Oh, sí. excellent. Sí. Before pandemic. Interesante. Sí. Este, eh, eh, el eh, otro es, who do you go with? Who do ok. Ajá. Uh, 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 ok, entonces, uh, um, uh, you travel, you travel with your family, ¿va? Sí, yes. Ok. Entonces, I travel, I travel with my family. My family. Ahí va en el chat ya. Vaya, ahorita ya voy. Sí, las dos primeras. Ajá. La otra sería... Who do you get there? Get girl. Get there. Who do you get there? Ah, okay. Get, get okay. está en pasado eh, allí, va. Get eh, there. Nos faltó la, eh, eh, Gloria, nos faltó la segunda pregunta. Es, when did you go? When is where is donde? Pero, when? Uh -huh. When is cuando cuando ah pero como ahí pusimos el que en December que le dije en December okay. last year uh -huh. la otra que no sé cómo dice ¿Cuál es la otra? Es how, how do you get there? Get este en pasado ahí, get there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Qué significa? How do you get there? Hello, guys. Okay. Sorry to interrupt. Okay. I was just. How do you get there? How get there significa cómo llegaste ahí. Uh -huh, okay. ah, ¿Cómo llegaste? Ok. By bus, by car, by bike. Uh -huh. Ah, no. Gracias, thank you, teacher. Ok. I let you work, guys. Let me know if you have questions, ok? Uh -huh. For me, I... I... I was... A car. And you... Ay, Dios, ya no las terminó. Usted las terminó. <laughs> Do you have questions or did you finish? No, no. Not yet? Um, okay, okay. I'm going to give you some minutes more. No. Ah, sí. Algo así, Eva. Plane. Avión es plane. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué se pronuncia? Uy. Plane. Así se pronuncia. Uh -huh. eh, la siguiente es What do you do during, during the day? Uh -huh. um, What do you do during the day? Uh -huh. What? ¿Qué es lo que hiciste durante el día? What no, no, do eh, 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 creo que es cuánto duró la... Pero como dice, how do you do during the day? Ah, aquí sí te dije. Durante Ajá. el día. Sí, sí, cierto. Ajá. Eh, 
uh, for me, it, me is I, como es en pasado, I eating a string, mm -hmm. comer macarrón, eh, uh -huh. camarones, sí. <laughs> eh, I swimming, uh -huh. only, and you? Uh, I visited um, I visited family or my friend uh, your friend I, I visited my uh, my family I visited um, in the Disney World Oh, mm -hmm. interesting. Sí, Orlando, Florida. Interesting. Mm -hmm. What do you do at night? What do you do at night? Ah, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> sleeping, sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> and you, uh, and you. <laughs> Uh -huh. uh, what do you eat? Yeah, I eat. I eat the. I eat the. Because. Ah, eating, eating. Mexican Hamburger. food. Mexican food. Oh, taquitos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and me, uh, me is. I eating um, fish and shrimp, pero mariscada en inglés, no, no, no sé cómo se dice. I love it is a shrimp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. La siguiente es, did you enjoy your last vacation? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I I enjoyed eh, see <laughs> sí, I enjoyed the, and I enjoyed in and visited the the es el pasado también verdad sí sí es que disfrutó eh, lo que disfrutó más va del viaje ajá qué es uh -huh. uh -huh. la vacación ah excelente esa sí no la entendía muy bien pero uh -huh. gracias thank you Sí. For me, it's in uh, company uh, with my family, friendly. Mm -hmm. uh, I love it. Mm -hmm. De la compañía es lo que más gustó. Uh, uh -huh. Disfruté también eating, eating my fish. Delicious. Ah, uh, uh, where? Where do you stay? Okay, in, in my in in the house, my family. My house. Stay is stay. Donde permaneciste? Donde estuviste? Donde? Ah, algo así. Mm -hmm. Sí. In your house, the family. Mm -hmm. Uh, me is I I stay in restaurant next in front of the beach <laughs> mm -hmm. uh -huh. every day only every day mm -hmm. at night I sleeping uh -huh. mm -hmm. la siguiente es how much money do you spend on your last vacation. Mm -hmm. How much money do you spend on your last vacation? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, um. How much is money is? Cuánto dinero? Ah, sí. Cuánto gastó? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Cuánto? I spend 
No, si son es. spender, ¿qué es? Eh, What? That's top. Hello, guys. Sorry to interrupt. We're going to start with the information. So, hope you are ready, guys. Okay. So, let's For listen. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Maria. Mario. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Or Gloria. Oh. Uh -huh. eh, teacher, eh, ¿dónde es how much money did you spend? Eh, ¿Cuánto eh, se gastó? Uh -huh. no, spend que teacher gastar, spend? gastar. How much gastar. money did you spend? Gastar. Uh -huh. Ah, on your last vacation. Uh -huh. ¿Cuánto gastó en su última vacación? How much? Uh -huh. How much? Um, me at eh, I, we are, I was um, only uh, every day um, um, have a, a breakfast, lunch, mm -hmm. drink coffee, drink mm -hmm. coffee, uh, fix, uh, 16 $16 dollars. $16 dollars. $16 dollars. Aproximadamente. Approximately. Mm -hmm. Approximately. Okay. And you, Mario? Uh, one thousand one dollar more or less. And oh. strip in, in <laughs> Avianca. <laughs> Mm, money, too money. much money. You are rich, Mario. <laughs> oh, money, 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 Mario. <laughs> you are my friend. Yeah, ahora que pague después. Interesting, Mario. Uh, our last vacation is different. It is um, interest in interesting. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you, uh, Mario and Gloria. We're going to listen to the other groups. Okay, because okay. they okay. will also okay. present. Okay, to you. So let's listen. Maybe Gladys and Jolman. Are you ready, guys? Hello, Gladys and Jolman. All right. Hello, are you ready? No mm. está Gladys, teacher. Oh, no está Gladys. Okay, Jordan, what about you? Mm. Mario y yo. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yo digo que sí, teacher. Okay, Jordan, uh, do you have the presentation? Uh, este, solo iba... Do, do solo la mitad escribí. <laughs> okay, you still have uh -huh. some time, Gloria. So it is Mario writing. Okay. Okay. Chat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you, Gloria. Okay. Tell Thank me, you, uh, Jolman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we had the presentation. Or not yet. Let me know, please. Solo, solo, solo tengo el. Eh, lo que voy a decir. Ok. Can you share your screen? Podemos compartir. Can you share your screen? Pero lo que iba a decir yo lo tengo aquí aparte. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. So, let me know if you can share, Jonah, please. Vamos a compartir pantalla. Are you going to share the screen, Jonah? Uh, no, teacher. Uh, Okay, go ahead, please. Present what you have. Uh, in my last vacation, I went I went to El Pital. I went in November with my friends. Uh, we went on friends car. Firstly, we entered the, the cabin and we were getting to know the place and talked about it. And night we heard music and sang and ate pupusas. I love it. And 
in we we were in uh Kevin. Uh, I I remember I stand uh uh fifty dollars. That's okay, less money than Mario, right? Okay, Jolma, just remember Jolma, for example, when you say, uh, when you say, I heard music. When we are talking about music, we say, I listened, right? I listened to music. Uh, okay? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, when we talk about music, we use listened. No me acordaba del pasado de... De, de listen. Ajá, por eso puse lo. I heard, okay. Okay, that's good, but the other part was excellent. Don't you have a picture from your vacation, Jolman? Eh, creo, no recuerdo. <laughs> okay, if you have it, you can share with us, right? We want to see you on vacation. Eh, no recuerdo. Okay, let me know when you are ready. In the meantime, let's listen to some of your classmates. Okay, let's listen now to Alfa and Jose Leonardo. Are you ready, guys? Uh -huh. Alfa and Jose. Hello. Okay, are you going to share, Alfa? Yeah, okay, let me just stop. And uh, let's try now. Okay, can you share now, please? You can try. Uh, where did you go? Mm -hmm. uh, I spent my vacation on the beach and my house. Mm -hmm. uh, two, when did you go? I went last, I went... Uh, I went last year. I <clears throat> no. Okay, okay. When did you go? When when last year of the beach? Okay. What did you go to with? I was with my friends. Uh, four. How did you get there? I went to my car. What did you do during the day? No. What did you do during the day? We arrived for brace pass. Six. What did you do at night? We drove back to the hotel. Then what did you eat? I Um, I went, no, I went to pupusas. I ate, right? I ate. Pero el pasado de comer. Eat, ate. Ah, I ate pupusas. Did you enjoy your last vacation? Esa no la entendí, Ticha. Disfrutó la vacación. Did you enjoy your last vacation? Pero cuando dice did, cuando did. está al principio, ¿qué es lo que significa? El did es un auxiliar y nos indica que estamos hablando en pasado. <coughs> ¿Ok? Es como el do, do you. Pero en este caso el did nos está refiriendo que estamos hablando en pasado. Ah, pero el significado en español, did. No tiene, si no, no, no lo vamos a encontrar como algo que tenga un sentido, 
sino ah, que ese okay. se utiliza como un auxiliar nada más, como el que le indica en qué tiempo está. En pregunta y en negativas. Entonces el significado completo sería... Disfrutaste. Disfrutaste. Disfrutaste tu última vacación. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo podría ser? Ay. Entonces, eh, estuvimos estudiando eso que podemos responder. Yes. I yes, did. I did. Exactly. Yes, I did. O no, I did. ¿Disfrutaste no, I did. tus vacaciones? No, sí, disfruté. O también el no, right. Exacto. Uh, ok. Uh -huh. okay. Where did you say? Aquí sería. I, no, ahí me trabé también. Okay. ¿Dónde te la quedaste? Última, no las hicimos. No las hicimos. ¿Dónde te quedaste? ¿En dónde se quedó? Por ejemplo, en un hotel. En la, set, en... en la séptima nos quedamos, entonces ya no seguimos. Ah, ok, ok, no problem. Estoy así como dudosa. <ríe> ok, pero estamos, we are learning, right? ¿Dónde se quedó? Where did you stay? ¿En un hotel o en una cabin? Uh, en, I stay in the house. Uh -huh. I sí. stayed ¿En at una home. Casa de playa? ¿Cómo se diría una casa de playa? No sé. Beach house. Ah, ok. I stay beach house. In a beach house or home. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. And how much money did you spend on your last vacation? ¿Cuánto dinero se gastó oh. in your last vacation? Uh -huh. eh, I spent I spent el pasado. Eh, ok, 100. I spent 100 dólares. Ok, and that's it. Perfect, Alpha. Okay. Very good. Thank you, teacher. Ok, to you. So, I don't know if Jose is going to present. Or, este, Jose, si lo puedo dejar para mañana. Because I don't have too much time and I need to cover some part of the lesson. Los puedo dejar para mañana a José, Amanda, and Morena. Yes, teacher, no problem. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> okay, so give me just a moment. I'm just going to take a screenshot. And tomorrow you can present, right? Les pediría a los que ya pasaron si pueden traer, eh, presentar una imagen el día de mañana about the about talking about your vacations right me quedo pendiente creo que Jolman so maybe tomorrow Jolman you can share with us the, the the picture right of your vacation okay so let's I have some uh topics right the minutes we have for the lesson remember that you have to cover you have to finish at the section number three, that it is part of your test, right, of your tasks. Okay, so we have uh, this vocabulary section. We have to Excuse join, me. yes? Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Yeah, tell me. Is the, is the question in the platform, in the section one, en, en la parte, fíjense que tengo una duda en la parte, en la última, en el último ejercicio que aparece, aparece que tenemos que describir en un papel lo, uh -huh. los ejercicios que hacemos, creo que es, es verdad, eh, no le entendí muy bien, ¿qué es ahí? Ahí va a disculpar, teacher. Mm, ok, no problem, eh, did you send the picture? ¿Mandamos una, alguna imagen eh, en el WhatsApp? Ok. Sí, sí. Ahí, ahí, ahí se la mando. Ok, si sí. me hace el favor, porque para identificar este, la, la indicación y, y, y qué es lo que hemos escrito, ok. Ok, teacher, ahí se la mando. Ok, no problem. Ok, let's continue with the vocabulary, right? We have to match, tenemos que unir, right? We have to match the word, the places, with that definition. Ok, let's do the first one. Can you help me, uh, Amanda, please? What is 
a clothing store. What is the definition of a clothing store? We have A, B, C, D, which one? Clothing store. Mm -hmm. Tienda de ropa, ¿verdad? Yes. So uh, what, what could be the, the, the meaning? Clothing store. Find new fashion. Find mm -hmm, new fashions. Yes, right. We can find new fashions. That's right. <laughs> clothing store. Okay, thank you, Amanda. What about number two? Morena, please. What is a grocery store? What is the definition? What is the definition of a grocery store? ¿Cuál? Gros grocery. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál es el significado? The definition we have. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. ¿Qué podemos yeah. encontrar? What can we find in a grocery store? Get food and a small eating for the home. Yes, exactly right. Yeah. It is like a super selectos, let's it's say, food. but oh. mini, a mini one. Grocery store. Get food and small items for the home. That's mm -hmm. right. Okay, thank you, Morena. So can you help me, Gladys Campos, please? What can we do in a hair saloon? What can we do, Gladys? Hola, hola. Yes, ¿qué podemos encontrar en in a hair saloon? Uh, salon. Get up, get up. Buy a newspaper, and magazine. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué podemos hacer? What can we do in a hair salon? Uh, watch, watch and dry your lavando y qué? En el hair, 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 hair salon? salon. ¿Qué podemos hacer? What can we do? Um, ¿Qué es qué es clothes? Clothes, es ropa. Ah, pues no, 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 no. Lavar y Eh, ver eh, eh, puede contarlo internet uh -huh. get up the eh, hair cut hair cut yes right we can have our our hair cut podemos tener un corte de cabello hair cut this is the hair cut okay thank you so what about the next one Joelman what is it laundromat uh, laundry, uh, 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 what's the correct pronunciation? Yes, yeah, right. Wash, wash and dry your clothes. Podemos lavar y secar la ropa. Okay, thank you, Yolman. So, Jose Leonardo, what is a newsstand? What is a newsstand? What is that? Are you there, Jose? Oh, no. Okay. Um, oh, there you are. Okay, Jose. What is a newsstand? What's was was and why? What can we find? Newspaper and magazine. Yeah, right. That's right. We can buy find newspaper and my buy newspapers and magazines and magazines. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about a stadium? What can we find in the stadium? ¿Qué podemos encontrar? Sí, game, uh, a concert. Yes, see a game or a concert. And then we have the Wi-Fi hotspot. We can connect right, to the internet. To the internet. There you have. Tenemos otra palabra, we have another word. We have, for example, coffee shop, una tienda where you can buy coffee and drink coffee too. 
Then sí. we have a drugstore. ¿Qué será una drugstore? Okay. What is a drugstore? ¿Qué será una farmacia? Es una farmacia, that's right. Drugstore, drugstore, drugstore. Okay, that is the la, la típica farmacia that we find mm -hmm. to buy medicine. Ok, so there you have, uh, I don't know if you have questions, no sé si tengamos dudas. Any question, guys? Any questions about the vocabulary? Ok, so good, that, that is the vocabulary, right, for this section. So let's move on to the next part. Grammar section. Mm, um, uh, and uh, here, vamos a aprender acerca del there is, and there are, tenemos también la palabra one, one and, and some. And some. Uh, vamos a ver uh, cuándo lo vamos a utilizar, en qué momento vamos a utilizar there is, there are, cuando vamos a utilizar la palabra one, any, and some. Ok, principalmente there is. ¿Cuándo puedo utilizar the is? When can I use there is? There is lo utilizo cuando tengo one object, right? Solo tengo un objeto, one object, singular, para cosas singulares. Por ejemplo, una, una sentence. There is a factory. There is a factory. Near the school. Hay una, hay una factory, hay una empresa. No, factory es como fábrica, fábrica, yes. There is a factory near, near my home. Near my home. Hay una eh, factory cerca de mi casa. Una fábrica. Ahora, ¿cómo hacemos esto en negativo? ¿Cómo podemos hacer en negativo? Who can help me with the sentence? There is not. There is not. Muy bien. We can say there is not. O we can say there, there, there isn't. There isn't. That's right. There isn't. There isn't. Es la forma negativa. There isn't. No hay. There is not. Voy a ocupar la misma oración. There is not a factory. Near my home. Ahora estamos, vámonos entonces, with there are. There are, lo vamos a utilizar, when we have more than one object, right? Two or more objects. Y tengamos dos o más objetos, two or more objects. Okay, let's see a sentence. ¿Quién me regala una oración? Who can give me one sentence utilizando there are? Me. Uh -huh. Help me, please. Give me one sentence. Uh, there are uh -huh. uh, uh, two t-shirts. There here. are two, sorry. T-shirts here. There are two desks, así. Uh, two t-shirts. Oh, two t Two teachers or two t-shirts? T-shirts, camiseta. Oh, t-shirts, t-shirts. T-shirts, here. Mm -hmm. Here, okay, very good. Ahí tenemos un muy buen ejemplo. Recordemos que something también importante cuando tengamos there are, vamos a agregarle ese a la palabra, okay? Don't forget that. Because if not, it's going to be a huge mistake. Va a ser un gran error. Ahora en negativa, simplemente le agregamos el not right. O si lo queremos hacer corto, sería there aren't. There aren't. ¿Y cómo puedo hacer esto como pregunta? ¿Cómo puedo hacerlo como pregunta? Are there? Are there? Voy a tomar la misma oración. Uh -huh. Are there two t-shirts? Exacto. ¿Y la respuesta cómo me quedaría? Yes, there are. Yes, there are. That's right. No nos olvidemos del question mark. Y sería yes, there are. O oh, 
Will there are Ok, y lo mismo hacemos with there is, right? Simplemente cambiamos el list, la posición del list al principio. Al mismo ejemplo, solo cambio is to the beginning, right? Ahora, ¿cuándo utilizo when can I use, for example, um, any? ¿Cuándo puedo utilizar any? Hay muchos. Mm -hmm. okay. Utilizamos any cuando tengamos alguna pregunta. Pues el any lo vamos a utilizar con preguntas. Mm -hmm. Son con preguntas, quiere. with questions, lo vamos a utilizar with questions y también lo vamos a utilizar con oraciones negativas. Por ejemplo, en question, is there any red book here? Hay algún, ¿verdad? Hay algún libro rojo acá. Y respondemos de la forma normal. Yes, there is. Oh, no, there isn't. Y el mm. any es solo para singular. Mm. Lo podemos utilizar también en, en, en plural. Tenemos el ejemplo acá también. Are mm. there any grocery store? Acá lo tenemos el ah, ejemplo. Pero uh, only for questions and negatives. Only for questions and negatives. Exactly. Well, perfect. Ok, there is one, there is one option more, esa se las voy a compartir tomorrow, but eh, también existe una opción más para any, in this, in, there is another case. Ok, so, I'm sorry. Y la palabra many, 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 many significa mucho, many. Pero many se utiliza cuando se tiene una palabra contable. Por ejemplo, there are many houses. Hay muchas casas aquí. Uh -huh. Tienen que utilizar la palabra que sea contable. Ok, so, eh, tenemos the next ones. Okay, tenemos, we have a... Tenemos el siguiente caso que es some, 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 lo tenemos acá, we have it here, lo vamos a utilizar, some, some, se utiliza when we have affirmative sentences, en oraciones afirmativas, el some, tenemos el ejemplo, there are some nice stores in Pine Street. Hay, hay algunas eh, tiendas nos, on Pine Street. Solo lo vamos a utilizar con oraciones afirmativas. Mm. Okay. The, esa es la mm. regla. Okay. Do you have questions? Vamos a utilizar only with affirmatives. Entonces, el any is uh, only for questions and negative. Yeah, that's right. Only for questions and negatives, any. Y son para affirmatives. Affirmatives, that's it. Mm -hmm. Positive statement. Here you have the example, right? Positive statement, there are some. Negative statement, there aren't any. Teacher, y otra pregunta mm -hmm. que yo tengo. Mm -hmm. Es que el, este... Curso, uh -huh. viene siendo como un repaso también de, de, de los anteriores. Yes. Hay, yo... varios, hay varios temas que yo recuerdo que vi. Uh -huh. Has como que o se me había olvidado un poco y siento que aquí estoy como volviendo. A... Exactly. Sí, okay. recordemos que esto es algo de practice, right? Practice. Y esto también lo van a ver más adelante. For you to practice, para que no olvidemos, for example, the rules. Entonces, los temas que hemos visto anteriormente se van a seguir repitiendo. Mm, no necesariamente, vamos, siempre, hay, siempre se van a agregar más. 
Por ejemplo, ya van a ver el presente perfecto, van a ver el futuro, eh, el futuro continuo, todos esos. But step by step, right? Okay, so don't worry and the time is almost over. Okay, so we have uh, with prepositions, right? We have, for example, uh, there is one across from the shopping center. Tenemos, we have there is, and then we have one here. Hay uno, right? There is one across from the shopping center. There is, or there's no one next to the library. If you don't want to say, for example, the, the, the word, you can say, you can use one, right? When you have just one object, one place in this case. We are using the prepositions too with there is and there are. So do you have questions about this topic? No questions, guys, or do you want something that to, to reinforce, right? No, teacher. Okay, perfect, guys. So let's move on with some practices, right? Okay, here you have some words. You have the ATM, que es el cajero, the ATM. You have the gas station, the coffee shops, grocery store, and so on. So what I want you to do is that you follow the example and your partner will give you an answer. Vamos a hacer preguntas depending of the word y la imagen and the picture and your classmate is going to give you sentence. Okay, por ejemplo, if I, if I ask, por ejemplo, Mario, are you there, Mario? Hello, Mario, estamos ahí, hello, no? Yeah. Hola, hola. Okay, so I will ask you a question using the words I have here, and so you have to give me an answer based on the picture. Yes, Mario? Mm. Yo le haré una pregunta, and then, de acuerdo a la imagen, you are going to answer. Ready, Mario? Okay. <laughs> okay, Mario. Okay, tell me, is there a, is there an ATM around here? Is there an ATM around here? Sorry. No lo encuentro. <laughs> Is there, ok, si entonces si no está, ¿cómo vamos a decir no, no está o no hay? ¿Cómo puedo decir no hay? Ninguno. How can I say that? Yo le hice la pregunta. Is there, there an ATM around here? ¿Hay un cajero por acá? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Later. Is there is there a ATM? Where is that? Where is it? I don't see it. Oh. Uh -huh. is there... is National Bank. National Bank. National Bank. Okay, it is the to the National Bank. It can be right. Maybe inside there is one. So, entonces, you're going to say, yes, there's one next to right, or in, in the National Bank. Okay, tomorrow we are going to continue, guys, because time is over, and I hope to see you tomorrow, guys. Have a good night. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. Practice this part. Tomorrow we're going to continue. See you, guys. Bye-bye, Miss. See you guys.